Hello, I'm Delia Colon, and this is WEDU Arts Plus. Violinist Cal Morris is a familiar performer along Tarpon Springs' famed sponge docks. Diagnosed with cancer at age 31, Cal turned to his family and music in his battle to survive. Am I gonna make it or not? And you're looking at death, like in his face, and like you're so scared. And and the way that hours become so precious, I was like, I don't care if they're horrible hours. I just want hours. Cancer it changes you in a way that I think a lot of people don't get or can't even understand. The world to me just is music. At 13, I got interested in the violin. It came naturally, and I feel like I just so quickly like fell in love with it. And I'm not great with words and just communication, but like when like music is just how like I express myself. It was literally about a month of that kind of on and off nauseousness and after more testing they started coming back with this looks like looks like it could be blood cancer and that was that was a huge blow it was yeah something we never expected cancer is absolute war yeah I can't even go there I won't let that happen I gotta be there for them but I immediately started doing chemotherapy I responded really really well but they were still like to fix the real problem we, we really think you need to do a transplant and you know someone who has a potentially terminal diagnosis, it's that one shot. It made me feel honestly so grateful to be able to like have the opportunity to give him a prosperous life with his family and his kids. The transplant, like, that was way, way harder than I could ever imagine. Somebody so strong and so like, like just like like roll up into this like, you know, bald, hairless like, gray, you know, human being. It was so sad to watch him. Yeah, like disintegrate like that. subsequently had additional complications associated with the transplant that were not run-of-the-mill complications. The pain was so bad, I didn't know how I was going to get through the next 10 minutes and like much less an hour or days, so. Is he dying right now? If he is, like what would I regret not doing? And I was like, I need, we need the kids here, like we need to get to be together. I didn't even pick my violin up for like two months, just like I couldn't. But I would hear like these songs, like just so much music in my head. I just sat down at my keyboard for the first time and just wrote this whole song. Like I feel like there's so much that's gonna come out and it already has from this journey. Literally one of the best days of my life, like being able to hug their little, feel their little arms just wrapped around me and wrap my arms around them and be back together. Caleb had made an announcement that he was going back to the docks and, uh, and we like dropped everything and we were like, we, this is something we are absolutely not going to miss. But just to go back after that, coming that close to not making it and um, it was, there was hundreds of people there, and so to get to that day and 
just see so much love and so much support put out on me was, it's, it's hard to describe with words. That's like everything. I mean, that's just, that's the reason that people undergo this horrible experience of transplant and the complications that occur post-transplant. It's to live their lives again. I really got that miracle that so many people hope for and pray for and long for. For more information, visit calmorrismusic.com.